<clears throat> what up YouTube gonna make a video on Halo versus Call of Duty versus Gears of War and those are the ones I'm talking about because those are the three main shooters I think of this generation this decade whatever they're the most popular shooters of this time and I'm just gonna say which one is the better shooter and in order to do that you have to break it down on what each of these shooters does what what each of these brings to the table <clears throat> and I'm gonna talk about which one I think is the best for skill all right and I'm gonna name everything right now Call of Duty is the worst game to measure skill okay the worst fucking game you could measure skill with is Call of Duty you wanna know who plays Call of Duty and takes Call of Duty seriously I respect people who actually can aim with that thing in that in that game okay it takes a lot of skill to aim really well but you know who loves that game is retard noobs with no skill and I'm talking about the people that plant claymores the people that drop those uh, those proximity mines I'm talking about people who throw grenades all the time garbage players it's bad enough it takes two three bullets to kill someone you know it's bad enough it's like half a second and someone's dead or a full second wow you know that's that's what it takes but then you've got this whole other element of if you walk here you'll die if you if you know the claymore bullshit all that and then you've got what is uh kill streaks which take no skill at all all right take the uh Take those gunners that are that are kill streaks for 25 kills, right? How hard is it to shoot with those things? Are you kidding me? Or back in the day when you used to get a nuke, game over. This uh, this is crap. It's garbage. You can't say you're good at it. And just think about it in general. If it takes that little of, of skill to uh, to kill somebody, if it takes that that amount of time, half a second or a second. Okay. And you're say you're a rusher, running gunner, you know, versus somebody who's standing still with crosshairs on you, who's just waiting to pull the trigger. In, you know you're gonna run right into it. They're just waiting. Who has got the advantage in that situation? Who's got more skill? You don't know. Most of the time you don't know. Okay. And whoever kills each other during that instance, it's, it happens so fast. that it's totally irrelevant that it's a skill based game it's kinda just like okay you killed me I killed you whatever I'll keep going if I kill you again I'm on a good streak keep going you know what I mean and I'm not discounting these guys that can do it because they play all the time and they're good at it I'm saying it's a stupid game to measure skill All right. <clears throat> it's really bad because of all those stupid other perks like when people throw C4 at you I mean get real you know 
But this is why it's so popular. Because the biggest dummy can just pick it up and <laughs> look what I did. You know, just just fucking do something hella dumb and and it works. They can sit in a corner the entire game. They're going to get one kill. I guarantee you at least one kill. And they'll be satisfied with that. You know? This is what you run into with people on Call of Duty. Just idiots. I get paired with these idiots all the time. I put I put the game in. I always get a motherfucker that goes 1 in 13. 0 in 9. You know? To me, a game needs skill to be based on the gun skill okay it needs to be the gunner who proves something okay it cannot be it cannot be anything other than than your gun skill it's 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 your it's it's your ability to hunt someone think about what we're doing we're playing a game where we're hunters and the best thing we can hunt is not rabbits fucking you know wildlife or deer or whatever no the best thing you can hunt is something as smart as you or smarter than you and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to prove that we could get you right with our hand-eye coordination with our maneuvering in this virtual world right that's what we're trying to prove but when you throw in stupid elements where people just camp and just put a little put a little claymore there while they snipe you destroy the entire fabric of that skill based game and I don't care if you're playing competitive Call of Duty. I don't care. I don't care if you're playing Search and Destroy. Because the, the maps are not built for Search and Destroy. They're built for retard fuckery. That's what they're built for. Okay? And they, they make it so easy and so diverse that everybody can have their little schmuck fest. You got the snipers who can snipe all day long and are completely satisfied. You've got the Claymore guys and the fucking C4 retards that are perfectly fine with that all day, every day. But you hardly run into a motherfucker that is straight gun on gun. You know why? Because that guy ain't playing Call of Duty. That guy's going to play some real shit. Okay. There shouldn't even be uh, kill streaks, dude. Kill streaks. Let's reward somebody for not dying. How about you just say he did a good fucking job? Why don't we just praise him for his good stats? Why do you have to go and make it totally unfair? And make it something that they can't control? Say I'm fucking murking the entire team, but one guy is murking everybody else because he's in a corner and he's completely uh, blocked off and for some reason I can never get to him. But he's got this kill streak growing. And sooner or later, he's going to come up with some bullshit like a, a, a dog attack or something from the sky. And that is going to totally turn the game around because he's got fuckery on his side right and the game is gonna reward him right meanwhile someone that like me who's not camping who's trying to destroy it uh, with manpower and just going out there enjoying the game isn't that the point of, of video games is to do shit you wouldn't normally do like, if I was in a, a real-life soldier, the last thing I would think is, hey, I should go out and push this guy. Right? 
I want to stay back and snipe is what I think I want to do. I think I'm going to do the, the most amount of things that's going to preserve my life. And if I do have to take chances, it's going to be smart chances. Okay? But you see these retards out here that are doing the same thing. They're taking it like it's real life, man. Like, they, like they're really out in the field. And they're really serious. And they're out there. And the whole purpose of a video game is that it's not fucking real. Right? It's a playground. It's a virtual playground where you can do shit that you could not do. You see all these guys running around throwing knives and shit? That's the last thing they would do in, on a battlefield. Okay? Anyways, that's what I'm talking about. There are some people who take advantage of the, the, the beauty of a virtual world and that you, can, you would do things you normally wouldn't do. And then there's these assholes, okay, that take it diehard serious. Okay, and you know who those are. It's not tryhards, okay. I could see if, uh, if it's a skill thing. You could tell where, whether it's a person with no life, uh, who's grinding and having fun, and then you could tell if it's just an asshole with a stick up his ass about playing it serious, and that's the guy I'm talking about. That shit pisses me off, and they ruin it for everybody who's just trying to have fun. Because you could have fun being a tryhard, being a badass motherfucker. But you can't have fun when people like that are there. When you get a fuck lo a, a, a lobby full of fucktards like that. Or when you get some shit really going. Listen, like I said before. This is not a skill based game. We're talking one, two seconds tops to die. And the advantage goes to the person usually standing still. All right. So, how is this the best game? Someone please explain to me. Especially when you got kill streaks and dumb shit like C4, Claymores, and stuff like that. I'll tell you what Call of Duty is. It's the salvation ground for retards that want to feel good about themselves. That's what it is. It's a bunch of idiots. All in love. With that game. You want to talk about the satisfaction you get from killing somebody? There's no satisfaction from killing somebody in Call of Duty. It happens in the last half a second. Or a second at best. How are you going to soak that in? And then there's this thing where I seriously believe, I seriously believe that after you kill somebody, even if, even if you, your health has recovered after that initial battle that you won, you are now weaker. I know it to be true based on experience, but I cannot prove it. I kill motherfuckers. And I swear I'll, I'll do the same thing and it's like I'm weaker against them now that I've gotten a kill already. And I can't prove it, but it's there. Alright? And that, that element is in there. And I want to hear if you have felt that before too. Alright? And I think they do that deliberately because they want to keep rewarding idiots. They don't want a game where if you're a dominant player, you're just going to keep dominating them and discourage them. They want people to feel good about themselves. It's a self-esteem thing. Because if you feel like you're good at something, 
which most video gamers, competitive gamers, are not. They won't even they won't even be lumped in with competitive gamers. Okay. It's about making idiots feel good. And that's what's destroying gamers. Serious competitive gamers. And that's why Call of Duty is trash. You know, this year I think they're going to have the biggest failure with Call of Duty. And good riddance. I hope they burn in hell all of those fucking devs. Call of Duty 4 was the only good Call of Duty. It was the simplest. It was the least far-fetched. It was the less campy. And it was all about the guns. Guns and hand-eye coordination. It was about skill, man. That's where it was. It's the only good Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2 is a close second. But it holds no game to Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty 4. Anyways, I'm going to get off of that. It's trash, alright? And if you feel good about being, if you're proud of that, I don't care if you've made thousands of dollars playing that game. Everybody knows, everybody knows deep in their hearts that game is for noob idiot fucks and that's the bottom line okay okay the next game I'm gonna criticize is Halo now I love Halo 1 and 2 I hate Halo 3 I absolutely hate Halo 3 I kinda like Reach, not really, and I fucking hate Halo 4. I like Halo 1 because it was the most simple. It was the most fun. It was just ridiculous fun. Okay, nothing came close to that. You think people were having fun with Halo 2, then you weren't around with Halo 1. Okay? People love this shit so much, they put four Xboxes together just to play against each other. This was before online gaming for consoles. Motherfuckers went deep with Halo. Okay? And it's because it was fun. Okay? It was simple. The pistol was awesome, yet too powerful. So what? It was fun. It took skill. Games lasted two hours long. You don't get that no more. You'll never... You kids growing up, I'm not even that old. But I know, you're fucked for life. They've got you. It's only a matter of, start, uh, a matter of time before they start making these games. Like Halo 2013, Halo 2014. It's only a matter of time before they just stop making the new stupid names. And they just make it like a sports rendition. That's what they're going to do. You kids are fucked. These games were so good back in the day, and they'll never bring it back. They had their chance with the Halo anniversary to give you a taste of real shit, and they took it away. They put it up to your nose, and then they took it away. Anyways, the reason Halo fell off, and I think the reason it turns off a lot of gamers, is because it's not... It shouldn't be a one, two second kill like Call of Duty. It should be a three, four and a half second kill game. But that game is built for teamwork. And 99% of the people you're going to run in with are idiots in matchmaking. Okay. Unless we're talking old school Halo matchmaking alright which means you have gun skill or some skill with grenades but it doesn't necessarily mean you understand the game it doesn't mean you know what to do 
in all situations. It just means you know how to shoot. And that's one element that's missing from gaming that I think they still haven't got. Okay, it doesn't matter. There's some there's there's a level of intelligence, okay, of understanding what to do in all situations, knowing the game or just knowing how to play the game at at an elite level. There's a, those things are way different. Okay? And equally important. Okay? So, it, what it ended up being, okay, first Halo 1 had that 3-4 second kill thing, and that's why it was awesome. Okay? And it was less about throw a grenade and, and shooting. You know, it was that was more of a Hail Mary type deal that would usually pan out because uh, it didn't take that long to kill somebody and any little jerk off uh, uh, of health that you took off was just going to make it that much easier okay okay for, this is getting long I haven't even talked about gears yet but it, with Halo 3 it ended up being a 6-7 second kill game against good players not stupid people but good players because what good players would start doing was you get shot three times okay time to run you know are you chasing me I know how to throw grenades in a certain spot so you'll never reach me and if you do you're fucked because I'll finish you it became less about gun skill more about know-how you know, I think that turned a lot of people off. Another thing they did was they added stupid bubble shields and health things. They fucked that. They that was such a fuck up, man. What the biggest fuck you, you know? And then they kept going with with armor abilities in Reach, which were a further fuck test. I mean, they just ruined it with that. That was like let's play Power Rangers. Each buddy, everybody's got a special ability. We're all just not playing Halo anymore. Let's just do this. And they killed the, they killed the franchise, and they went further further with Halo Four, and they just ruined it. And their their whole uh, their whole community is, is gone, you know. And so uh, they're screwed. But I believe that. If it had been, if it had stuck with Halo 1 and 2 style, I think the skill would have been a good measure of skill. Right? I think it could be easily looked at as one of the, the games that take the, the most amount of skill. Not saying that it doesn't now. It still is a hard game to be good at. But I'm saying it's not the best measure. You know what I'm saying? Because getting shot three times running away it's kind of stupid you know uh, if you shoot somebody three times and the on the fourth one they should go they should be out you know what I mean and then and so that's what kind of ruined it in my opinion so no halo doesn't even make it Now you got Gears of War, which Gears of War 1 was, in my opinion, a failure from a multiplayer standpoint. All the real good Gears players love it, right? Because they were good at something that no one cared about, right? But anybody knows that game was fucking dumb, alright? Because the shotgun was just totally random when it would spray you could get headshots with the Nasher from five, five feet away like his, th that wouldn't even make sense the amount of bullets coming out of that thing and and uh, you're telling me not one of those would hit somebody's head every once in a while and pop a head no and then you've got uh, you know the sniper with the uh, active reload Active reload was a good thing, I think, 
for for gaming in general and I think most games should have it. but I think that it shouldn't be allowed to be pre preacted you know you, you should only be able to active your weapon if you've killed somebody during the previous uh, you know during the previous battle you know if you're still on that clip and you should have you know a 30 second window because I think it's a little fucked up you know if when when you're coming when you're when you're facing uh, when you've just killed somebody and then two more people come out of the woodwork you know and you've got no teammates I think it's a, it's a fair thing if you're better you know if those if that one guy can't kill you after you've just been weakened by some other guy then he doesn't deserve to kill you you know you should have an edge to make it fair for yourself so that was one thing that was good coming from Gears of War and the other good thing from Gears of War was uh, there's nowhere to run you know that was that's the best thing about years of war is if you trap somebody okay you're gonna trap somebody there's no mistake about it uh, and that's what's great about the hunt in, in gears if you're pushing somebody you get this feeling like they're either gonna come at you or they're gonna stay hitting and fuck themselves okay and so that's where the gun battles are that's where this uh, this real skill comes to play where you'll have to you have to put it all on the line am I gonna push am I gonna stay put it was well, a lot of the a lot of the build around third-person shooters is position which is what it would be in Halos and and Call of Duties, uh, but the thing about Call of Duties position, it doesn't matter if if someone's uh, hiding, they you could still die real easy because of how easy it is. And in Halo, what people will do if they're pinned is just toss a grenade, you know, to keep you back. And that's not how you know. Gears of War took that all away. It said, "We're gonna." Uh, you're gonna be prey and if you're gonna run I'm just gonna push you in a corner and you're gonna be fucked you're done you know and and if you come out of that you're really good that means you're good that means you've got skill okay so Gears of War got some elements right but what they failed to do with that game uh, is reach an audience because no one's interested in a bunch of steroid using mongrel looking fucking uh, cabbage patch feet motherfuckers they look crazy like they nobody looks like that okay I mean they all have Shaq's feet and the shoes of a goddamn giant and uh, it just doesn't make sense you know people I remember I seen somebody you know I asked somebody about if, if anybody it was a Modern Warfare 2 lobby you know I was like you know anybody excited for this Gears 3 I was like what the fuck that's just a weird third person no one gives a shit and uh, it's true no one gives a shit but I think that if more games, first person shooters, incorporated some of their ideas, I think I think gaming would be a lot better in a, in a, it would be in a lot better place. But Gears of War is fucked up too. It has terrible game types uh, where just stalemates are inevitable. There's not enough uh, incentives. Uh, it's just broken and and the people who are making these games they, they don't they're just diluting it all by making a new one every year and they're not 
sticking to their guns and making skill games. And that goes for all of them. Halo, Call of Duty, and Gears of War. So, what I'm saying is, all these games are failures at this point. All of them. None of them are good. Alright? So it's hard for anybody to be excited about any of this shit anymore. And I really believe that gaming, from a competitive standpoint, from a fairness standpoint, from a sensible standpoint, is dead. Just dead. It's all about the masses and their moronic bullshit. And they'll continue to ruin games to make them stupid. Uh, just like the people who they want to play them. And that goes for Titanfall too. Titanfall is going to be shit. No mech game in the history of games is has been good. So why do people think that this Titanfall game is going to be so much different? You're going to be fighting a tank. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you why people are excited about this. The morons from Call of Duty who can't get kills or like corner camping or with claymores can't wait to get in those tanks because then they could kill people who aren't in tanks because they're fucking garbage. They cannot wait for that to happen. That's what's happening with Titanfall. There's that's the hype. I guarantee it. And that's that's my stance on it. Man. This is getting late, and I'm really tired of talking. So I hope you take something from this, and I'm out.